Now, Dawkins' second suggested mechanism for generating a world ensemble is Lee Smolin's evolutionary cosmology. According to Smolin's hypothesis, black holes in our universe are actually portals uh, to baby universes which are birthed by our universe. Universes which produce lots of black holes would therefore have an evolutionary advantage by producing more offspring. The more black holes a universe has, the more baby universes it produces, and so these kinds of universes would become more and more numerous as time goes on. Now, since black holes are the result of star formation, they are the final state of stars, and since stars promote planets where life could evolve, the unintended effect of evolutionary cosmology is to make life-permitting universes more probable. So Smolin says the fact that the universe is life-permitting is just the unintended consequence of his evolutionary cosmology. Now Dawkins acknowledges that quote-unquote not all physicists are enthusiastic about Smolin's scenario. Talk about an understatement. For Smolin's scenario, wholly apart from its ad hoc and even disconfirmed conjectures, encountered insuperable difficulties. First of all, a fatal flaw in Smolin's scenario was his assumption that universes which produce lots of black holes would also produce lots of stars. And in fact, the exact opposite turns out to be true. The most proficient producers of black holes would be universes which generate primordial black holes prior to star formation. And therefore, these kinds of universes would have an evolutionary advantage so that life-permitting universes would actually be weeded out by evolutionary cosmology. Thus it turns out that Smolin's scenario would actually make life-permitting universes even more improbable than otherwise. Secondly, speculations about the universes begetting baby universes via black holes has been shown now to contradict quantum physics. The conjecture that black holes may be portals to wormholes that uh, allow uh, vacuum energy to tunnel through the black hole to spawn a new expanding baby universe was the subject of a bet between Stephen Hawking and John Preskill, um, a UC uh, cosmologist, which Hawking finally admitted in 2004 that he had lost in a, an event much ballyhooed in the press. The conjecture that black holes are portals to wormholes through which energy can tunnel to form baby universes would require that the information going into a black hole could be forever lost from this universe into a baby universe. And one of the last holdouts, Hawking finally came to admit in 2004 that information is preserved in black hole formation and evaporation. The implications? I quote from Hawking, there is no baby universe branching off as I once thought. The information remains firmly in our universe. I'm sorry to disappoint science fiction fans, <laughs> but if information is preserved, there is no possibility of using black holes to travel to other universes, end quote. So what that means is the Smolin scenario is literally physically impossible. It contradicts the laws of quantum physics. 